Yo, what up guys? This is the Weekday Wag, and you are watching Tuesday and Thursday tutorials. So, today, I'm going to be showing you a little feature that I actually didn't find after having and using this program pretty consistently for like a month. And, Filmora, it's super basic, it's awesome, it's very easy to learn. You got your music, text, transitions, filters, overlays, elements, split screen, and then export your movie. So, today, I'm going to be talking more about the elements and you're probably like what are elements because you know what do you need for a video you got your video clip so that's obviously in media you got music background music sound effects all that stuff text so text that pops up on the screen transitions it's even got filters um, overlays which is essentially a filter they're just fancy filters but elements these elements are cool. The only one downside I don't really like about them is that they are not customizable. So for example, this one says popular. You put that down here. I'm gonna play that. Popular, wow. You can't change it to say anything else, unfortunately. I thought you could, that was kind of a bummer. But what you can do, like one thing that I like to use is this quotation box. I don't know if you can really see it. There's a little bit of glare on the screen, but there's a quotation box like that. So, you know, let's say you're making a video and you really want to emphasize something that a character says in a video. So all you do is you put that quotation box. You can, you know, you can adjust it. I mean, obviously I don't have a background video, but you know, you can move it up, down, wherever you want. And then go to text. Scroll down to whichever one you like. I like this one. So notice they're on two different tracks, which means they will be together on this one. Double click on it. There's always this annoying little box that I always delete, but hello. Okay. Okay. So now I have this play. So notice that we have them both going on at the same time. All we need to do at this point is double click on hello and drag it up there. You, know, you can adjust the, looks like it's not going to let me stretch it out, but like if you saw one of my previous videos, all you have to do to change on the font. I really like this top one, Textile 2, because it keeps it white in the middle, but it has a black border so you can see it better. Obviously this has a black background, so it's probably not going to change the appearance of it, but that's all. Press play, they're coming together. Hello, got a cool text box. Yeah guys, that's it. So. With elements, there's all sorts of stuff. I think there's about, I want to say, 50, 60? I don't know, there's a ton of, like, there's emoji sort of things. I don't know. There's a lot of weird stuff on here, too. Yeah, there's element emojis, kind of weird. But, you know, maybe you want to use that in your video. Who knows? This new stamp's pretty cool. I mean, you could use that for anything. Got tools, got all sorts of stuff. That's it. All you got to do is just click where you want in your video. Click add, play it. Oh, it's not showing because it's black and the background is black. But let's get, okay, here's a better one. We'll add that in. For some reason, you're just dying to put a paper clip in your video. Filmora Pro's got gotcha. you. So that's it, guys. That's how you use elements and how you can make a word box. Um, if you like the video, if you have any questions, Please comment down below, like and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace.